YouTube, it's Mr. Was Up 2000 here, and today I'm riding my bicycle, and uh, I'm just going to be riding it around town, I just want to make a video, because I need, I didn't want to be in my house, because, uh, that was awkward, alright. Alright, I just didn't want to be in my house right now because my house is really hot in one room and then one room is really cold because of the air conditioner. But, what the fuck was that? Oh. But, uh, yeah, I think I just ran over a piece of plastic or something. I hope it doesn't break my back tire because we already had to replace the tube. Okay, I feel like absolute shit right now. It's my stomach. I don't have the flu or anything. I just over ate. I just had like three slices of pizza like not even 20 minutes ago, like one right after another. One was from Papa Gino's. I haven't eaten there for a while, so I'm not saying anything bad about Papa Gino's because they're good. And I had two slices of Christie's beach pizza, which Again, not bad pizza, but just a combination of all the grease in my stomach, trying to settle. Ugh. It's fucking gross. Ah, there it is, my friend's 67 Chevy pickup truck. Yep, it's a real nice truck, it sounds real nice. It's a good truck, it's a... He's working on it right now, but whatever, it's a good truck. But yeah, back to the, I was at my house and my room was like, my AC wasn't helping my room because my room is naturally like, has two windows and it's really hot in my room. And uh, I had three slices of pizza in there, in my room, I was eating them eating three slices of pizza and uh between the heat the heat of my rum probably being like 90 degrees and uh the grease of the three slices of pizza this thing's still recording Sorry about that interruption. Um, some people were just uh, talking and uh, forgot to pause the video while I was recording. So, but yeah, the, the three slices of pizza had a lot of grease on them. Papa Gino's had the most grease, but um, after that, I didn't feel so good. Like my stomach, ugh, the grease in my stomach was not settling right because the heat in my room, it was hot in my room, like really hot. I know it's not a good idea to smoke a cigarette with an upset stomach. That was a nice Jeep, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just need to get out of the house for a minute or two. Because my stomach wasn't feeling good and my room was hot. But, yeah, I was just going to make an update video today. Should be getting my new tablet soon, so when I get my new tablet, this video is going straight to YouTube. Along with a bunch of other videos, because, um, yeah, I can. I'm gonna call this, bike, uh, this video Bike Riding Around Town. There goes a seagull. That was a big seagull. Wings are probably, like, a little bit smaller than, like, my arm, like, where the hand connects, like, to the wrist, or whatever, yeah, like, my bicep. There's another one of those seagulls. A gull. I don't like seagulls. I like pigeons better. Uh, 
I gotta say though, this seat out here is hot. Well, that's heat for you. I mean, I'm just bored. I'm just, I'm making this video because I have nothing else to do. And I didn't want to be in the house all day. There's a lady looking at me right now. Probably looking at my glasses. Uh. Yeah, I just, I, I don't have a lot to talk about right now in this update video. So, uh, yeah. I put the fl American flag flying in the breeze because I thought it would be cool to add in the video because I've never done that. Alright, she's not, oh, no, she's looking back at me again. I don't know why people, what are you looking at? I don't know why people have to stare at me all the time. I'm not paranoid about it, but. Eh, hey, I just don't like it when people look at me. Like if it's someone I don't know, and they just look at me, I don't even need my glasses right now. If it's like someone I don't know, and they just keep looking at me like that lady's doing. She's over, uh, I'm not going to show her or anything, but she's over parked next to my friend's truck right now. Let me adjust my camera, but if you don't know me and you're going to look, like, I haven't, ooh. That was a nice car. There's another nice car. It's probably a Buick Skylark, I think. I wish I could have gotten that on camera. I tried to. Some guy just looked at me on his motorcycle. He probably didn't know I had the camera in my hands. Oh, I didn't get the Dodge on camera. That was a big ass lifted Dodge right there. I dropped my cigarettes too. There goes that Ford that I usually see around too. But, uh, oh, I almost dropped my camera now. So many people are looking at me right now because they don't know I'm recording a video. Got three cigarettes left. This is what my pack looks like right now. Destroyed. Destroyed. Because in my pockets, like, oh, the bench I'm sitting on is really old. Well, when my cigarette packs are in my pocket on a hot day, they kind of get smushed in there. And it's hot, it's hard. Slow down. It's hard to, like, yank them out of my pocket from the top, so. I think I knew that guy. But it's hard to yank my cigarettes out of my pocket. So, uh, yeah. Ah, crack my neck. It's not a good thing to do, but. Yep, here's my Paro downtown. I gotta say, this bike is awesome. I'm sitting on the pavement right now. There's some other. Oh, here's the kids that bike a lot. Yeah, I didn't show them on camera because I'm not gonna do that. I'm not like that. I don't show kids I don't like on camera because, you know. But yeah, but this bike is nice. It's got a 25-2 sprocket. Uh, I don't know how. The back sprocket on this wheel. Uh, on the back wheel is tiny. Like, it, it's small. It's got uh, Kenda contact tires. I gotta say, these tires aren't the best I've ever had. Like, I don't know if you can see contact on the tire. It's kind of hard to see it unless I had, like, a lighter or something, so. Yeah, you can't see it, really. But, yeah, this bike is awesome. I got a Yankee Suck sticker on it because I don't like the Yankees. I got an Italian sticker. I got that from Market Basket because, you know, I just wanted to put it on my bike. But it says downtown right here. I got bullet caps on both tires. This is Haro right there. It's a really good bike. I mean... I paid $300 for it, and it's uh, not the worst bike I've ever gotten. No, the worst bike I ever gotten was a Mongoose from Walmart. <laughs> Just kidding. I had an Eastern, and uh, I had an, uh, an Eastern BMX bike that my f this kid I, I know. Well, I was loud. I had this bike that, um... My, uh, this kid I, I knew, he sold it to me for 40 bucks, and uh, it had no brakes, it had, uh, it had, it was just a, a bad bike, it was an Eastern, but I don't know what type, like what m the frame's name was, like, bikes like, uh, I don't know, like, like bikes like Sunday, they have a name, like, like their frames have a name, like orange soda, or grape soda, or watermelon, so. But um, I didn't know what this bike was really like. It was just an Eastern, and uh, it wasn't that good. But I do miss the bike. I mean, it was the first bike I learned to bunny hop on. So 
so it's not that bad. Yeah, you can just kind of see Kendo right there. Try and focus in on it better. Yep, you can see it, Kenda Contact. Kenda, and Contact is right over here, but it's hard to see, but. Yep, this bike is good. The back tire has been through a lot. Um, the tube for the Kenda Contact, not good. The tire, this tire, we patched it five times, no, four times. We needed to get a new tube. The front tire's patch is still holding up pretty good, though. So that's a bonus. I mean, it's not the worst bike I've bought, so it gets me back to back and forth to work. Oh, bike's rolling. Don't want that to happen. It has no kickstand, so what am I gonna do? All right, uh, that was my update video for today. Um, as soon as I get my new tablet, I'm gonna upload the video to YouTube, and hopefully, I don't have to wait like five or six weeks to get my new tablet, but. I will see you guys later.